Okay, in this video I'm going to go about switching, um, this is a 9XR radio, a new one. I wasn't able to get uh, a Mode 2 one for the United States, so I ended up buying a Mode 1, which of course has got the throttle control on the right, and um, aileron and elevator on the left. So I've got to mechanically switch it so that the, the, the throttle up and down is on this side, and switch that over the other side. Then later on I'll go into and switch in the software how to switch it to um, mode 2 in the software. Okay, so let's get it cranked up and the first thing you're going to have to do is flip it over and there's a bunch of screws you're going to have to undo here. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 screws you got to take out. I've already taken them out so just to kind of make things quicker. So you pop this off. To get it off easy, you have to pull this little thing out of the bottom here, this little connector. Pop that off. Okay, so now we got the bottom of the radio. First thing you have to do is take out the two gimbals. So there's four screws on each side. One, two, three, four. I've already got three out of the four out, so I'll just take out my last screw here. Gimbal and take this one out. Okay, so now we got the gimbals. So you have to take out all four screws. Of course, I just did mine really quickly. And the easiest thing to do is just to pop the connectors right off of there. Pull that gimbal out. We'll do the same thing with this one. Pull this gimbal out. Pop our connector off here. Okay, good. So now we've got our two gimbals taken apart. Okay, now that I got the two gimbals out, I have to switch the uh, the rocker mechanism from this one over here into this one, and vice versa. You can't really switch just switch the gimbals and go like this because the length of the connector cords aren't long enough to do that for each side. So you you've actually got to switch the actual uh, rocker mechanism. So the rocker mechanism in here is this little thing right here. There's a little spring here. The rocker goes across and connects into here. So we're going to have to take out that rocker and the spring. And then we're going to have to take that and put that in this side. And put the little, uh, there's a little hook at the bottom. We're going to have to remove this little hook here too. Take that from this side and then put that all back in this side. And then we're going to have to take this band right here that provides friction and put that across this side, which entails removing this and this and this post. So, um, and we'll start switching that. So the first thing we need to do is we might as well go ahead and start removing this first. Take that off of there. Take that off of here. Okay, switch that. Now we're going to put that on this side. off of this side because we need that post so we gotta take this little connector off right here because we need the post to support it so we take that out from this side take that screw right there and that, that's gonna go in from this side here now that screw goes in there right in here and then we're gonna put the post up here it has to go in a certain orientation I believe it's just like that. Screw that in there like that. Okay, good. Now we can put our friction bar up here, which will give the throttle friction on that side. And you can adjust the, thr the throttle friction just by either reducing or increasing the amount of um, tension on this plate right here. So we'll, we'll fine tune that later, but for right now, we'll just. Screw that in there. Okay. Okay, so that's that. So now we gotta take out the spring, the spring and this rocker out of this side. So the first thing we'll do is we'll loosen this little screw right here on this side. Oops, and that goes shooting off, of course. And there it is right here. 
Okay, there's my spring and the hook and that little screw. Okay. And the next thing we gotta do is we gotta take out we gotta take out this little pin right here. We gotta push that pin through because we have to take out this rocker. I gotta get this rocker out of there somehow. So the only way to get the rocker out is to um, push in that pin. Take that. Push that pin out. It pushes the pin out. So now we're gonna take this rocker from that side and we are gonna put it into this side. So I'd actually be better pushing the pin in from the outside. From this side right here. Okay, so now we're gonna push the pin in from this side. Take something here to squeeze it and just get a good start. Start, line up the hole, and then bam, the pin is pushed in. So now you see I got my rocker on this side, the pin pushed all the way through. Okay, one other thing I just realized you have to do is there are, for the rocker to work, there are these little pins. This is the side I took the rocker from. So these little pins here and here. We gotta take these pins out because that's what makes the rocker work. We gotta take those pins out of here. And we gotta put them in here and here on this side. So to do that, I'm gonna have to take this whole assembly apart to get at those pins and put them out. So the way to do that, so first of all, we have to pull these screws out here. 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 Okay, then to take this uh, gimbal assembly apart, you got to pull this plate out of here. You see this little plate right here? You got to pull that out so that you can pull up the, uh, the pot. Okay, so then you're gonna. There we go. The pot comes out. So now we can get to the put those pins in here on this side. Okay, so let's put that over there for a second. When we take this one apart, we'll do the same thing. We're gonna have to pull this apart again right here. Just put that on there. Let's screw those off for a minute. Okay, so we're gonna take these screws apart here. Take this screw apart here. Then we gotta do the same thing on this side. We've got to pull this little plate out right here to be able to pull the pot out of the out of the side of the gimbal and there comes our pot. So keep that on that side so we don't get them mixed up. And so now the, the gimbal assembly comes apart. I gotta pull these two pins out of this side and put them in the other side. This is probably easier, so let's see how easy hard it is to pull these things out of here. Uh, pull up pretty easily. And then that pops into this one. Okay, we'll push that in all the way. Okay, and we'll pull the pin out of this side. Put that into this hole. stop okay so now that I've got the pin switch from this one to this one now we can put the whole thing back together and um, reinstall the rocker okay so this one goes back over this side just make sure you kept your bearing in place goes in here like that correct and now my flat goes like this and I should just push right in there, all the way in. Okay, good. So now I got that in there. Now I'm going to take my little plate right here, these little plates, and I've got to reinstall that down the side. So that's what keeps, holds your pot in place. And that just goes down the side like that. Okay, get pushed in there. 
and just push it in the rest of the way and it captures captures the metal right there so you can see in here it captures around that metal brass collar right there okay good so that one's back and installed let's go back to doing this one then I'm gonna make sure my bearing is in the right place my bearing goes there goes like that and then my um, pot goes in the correct orientation stick that back now like that hold it nice and still pot goes in and it should be oriented correctly again I gotta take and put my little metal plate back down here just make sure you put these in with the little little tab there fitting toward the plastic so it kind of holds it in place that just slides down there over the that little brass collet again push that down all the way so it's captured again make sure you're captured in there well okay good so now that that's on that side correctly okay good so all we have to do now is put on our little our little rings right here just go over side hold those bearings in Back and down each side. Another one. That's all back in there. And put my little bracket back on here. So that side's done. This is what should be the throttle side, throttle rotor, rudder side. Okay. So now we're going to go finish putting this one back together. So I'm going to move my little bearing holder right here on this side. Put that back in there. Grab my trusty screws. and I just split that but it's not a big deal okay good so now that we have those pins you know we can see where we put those pins in here, here and here we get the pins so now when we put the rocker slide the rocker we put in earlier when they put that in there when it pops back and forth it'll it'll hit on those pins okay so now we just have to install our our spring and our hook holder back in here again so Okay, so that goes right back into there. Okay, good, that's back in place. We're going to screw our hook back in there. Okay, now we just got to reattach our spring. A pair of tweezers. And I just got to reattach that around that hook again, which sometimes isn't easy. you got to get in there. We see pretty good from the side. How oh, I've got to do that. Right from the side. Okay, good. I've got my hook on there. Now I just gotta take my hook and put it back on this little hook right here. There we go. Good. Okay, so now it rocks the way it's supposed to. It rocks back and forth both directions. Okay, so now this is going to get reinstalled back into the throttle, I'm sorry, the um, aileron elevator side, and this one will get put back into the um, throttle rudder side. Okay, so let's put that one in first. Let's bring the radio back in place there. Come on back up the video a little bit. Okay, good. So now this one goes back into this side. Right back in there. Just make sure you don't trap any of the wires. Just slipping it in there. The wires are pretty tight. You can see why we couldn't just switch the gimbals because if I try to put this gimbal on that side, this wire right here 
it's not going to make it into that connector. That's why you can't just like switch them from one side to the other. That's why we had to go through all that and switching them mechanically instead of just um, switching the whole gimbal. So now I've got that gimbal in there and that this connects back into here. And this, the long one, connects into the, into the far one. Back into there. Pops back into there. We're going to put our four screws back in the four corners. Okay, and on this side, okay, on this side we're going to pop um, this one into that way, which actually goes like this. Okay. So we're going to pop this one into here. It's a good idea to take a picture of the inside of your radio before you start working on it in case you forget what orientation something is or forget what goes where or what screws go where. That way you got it set. Okay, so now I got my two gimbals back in the right places. Put my connector here. Put my connector here. Okay, so I got my two pots connected back up to that. I'm just going to throw one screw in on each one of these before we flip it over and work on doing the radio adjustment. Screw here. So then you just put your, your eight screws back in the back right here. As you can see now, I've got throttle on this side. Rudder still works good. On this side, we have a self-centering for the um, ailerons and elevator. Ready to go. So that's, that's all fixed. So now what we have to do is fix it in the software where um, we can change it from mode one to mode two. And we'll do that here in a second. Okay, now we're going to go into the actual uh, software of the radio and switch it from mode uh, 1 to mode 2. So we just flip it on. Okay, it's going to say right now that the throttle's not idle because right now the throttle's on this side. If I bring it down, it, it says it's idle. It lets me know that this is the throttle right now. So we're just going to push and hold the left arrow button here. Right now we're on radio setup page 105. We're just going to go down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Oops. Right there. Okay, so at the bottom one here you can see it says mode one and let's zoom this in a little bit. Okay, so it has mode one, rudder, elevator, throttle, and, and um, now we're on right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change that to mode two. So that's rudder, throttle, elevator, and aileron set up like that. And then we're going to hit exit. Okay, so now our throttle is as I said on the set. What a way to test is turn it back off, turn it back on again. And now it says it doesn't give me that throttle warning, which means the throttle's on this side now. So and that's how to switch switch sorry mode one to mode two.